Welcome back to NerdServe everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you three different ways to change your lock screen in your Windows 10 PC. And if you stick around, I'll also show you how to change the color of your start menu, taskbar, and window borders and stuff like that. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. It always helps the channel out and you'll get more videos in the future. So, let's begin! <laughs> Okay, so let's start with the lock screen. The first thing we're going to want to do is give a right click anywhere on the desktop. We're going to want to go down here to personalize and give personalize a click. We'll be in the background menu here where you can change your wallpaper. But I already did a video on that, so we're going to go over here to the left and do lock screen. Give lock screen a click and we'll be in the lock screen menu. Now I'm going to show you the three ways you can change your lock screen. Now it's already set the window spotlight. And window spotlight just takes pictures and advertisements from being in the internet to display on your lock screen. So that's just one of the options you can do, and it's good if you don't want to pick a picture yourself or just want to leave it as that. But let's get a little more creative. So we're going to click on this arrow here, and it's going to bring picture and slideshow. Yay! But we're going to go to picture first, so give picture a click. And as you can see, it's the default Windows wallpaper as my lock screen. And down here, it'll show you the five most recent wallpapers that you've used for your lock screen. As you can see, some of the default ones. And if you click on any of these, it'll instantly change up here, as you can see. But we want to add more. So let's click on Browse here. And we're going to be in My Space folder. But let's say it takes you to Documents first and you need to find your pictures. Loosely under this PC here, you can find Pictures. So we're going to click on Pictures. And these are all the folders in My Pictures. I'm going to click on this Wallpaper folder here, or double click on it. And I'm going to choose one of these wallpapers. Let's get into the madness. So I'm going to click on this and choose choose photo or you can double click on it and as you can see it instantly changed that picture and it put it in my five most recent pictures and the picture on the right got taken out. So that's how that works and that's how you can choose a picture for your lock screen. But let's go to the slideshow option. Click on slideshow and now you'll be able to turn your lock screen into a slideshow of multiple pictures. But instead of choosing a picture we're going to choose a folder. So let's click add folder. And we'll be in my wallpaper folder, but again, let's say it takes you to documents. We're going to go back to pictures. We're going to double click into the wallpaper folder. And as you can see, it doesn't show the pictures in here because we're not choosing a picture. We're choosing the folder. And since we're in the wallpaper folder, all we have to do is hit choose this folder. And it added it right there. And now it will do a slideshow of the five pictures in that folder. If you want more pictures added, just add another folder and then it will slide so through all the pictures in both folders. And if you want to remove a folder, just click on the folder and click remove right here. And there's also advanced slideshow settings right here. We give this a click. You can include the camera roll folders from this PC and OneDrive. So if you have pictures in there on your PC or the OneDrive, it will add them to the slideshow. You just got to click on or keep it off, whatever you want to do. You can only use pictures that fit my screen. If you want to include any pictures, no matter the size, turn it off. Or if you want only pictures that'll fit your screen's resolution, keep it on. When my PC is inactive, show the lock screen instead of turning off the screen. If you want it to show the lock screen, you can keep that on. Or if you want the screen to turn off, turn it off. But if you have it on, you can also turn off screen after slideshow has played for a certain amount of time. It's set to an hour right now, but if you click on this arrow, you can change it to 30 minutes, 1 hour, 3 hours, or you can don't turn off at all. So again, up to you on all these choices, but whatever you want to do is up to you. So let's go back. And just a few more things you can do to your lock screen. You can turn on Get Fun Facts, Tips, and More from Windows and Cortana on your lock screen. If you want that on, it's an option. I just find it kind of annoying, but it's up to you. You can choose an app to show detailed status on the lock screen here. I have the calendar app, but if you click on it, you can put it as none. 3D Viewer, Weather, Mail, or the Xbox Console Companion. So again, up to you on that one. And you can choose apps to show quick status on the lock screen. You can choose up to seven here. I have Mail, Calendar, and the Microsoft Store. You can add four more. All you gotta do is click on any of these. And you can choose none or any of these options here. And the final thing is you can just show the lock screen background picture on the sign-in screen. If you want that on, it's set to on. Or if you want it off, just click it off. Easy peasy. Now let's get to colors. And as you can see, from the background menu up here, we're in the lock screen menu, the colors menu is right between them. So let's click on colors. And now we are in the colors menu. And as I promised, I'm gonna go through the colors with you too. So the first thing is we're in dark mode here. If you click on the arrow though, you can change it to light mode. Make it bright. As you can see, it made the windows, background, the start screen and the taskbar all light. Or you can click on the arrow again and customize it. You can have this one is light and this one is dark. If you change this one to dark, 
The background window here will be dark, but your taskbar and start screen will be light. Or if you change this one to dark and this one to light, the background of the open window will be light, but the taskbar and start screen will be dark. So again, you can customize it to your choosing. I just prefer dark mode, so I'm going to keep it in dark mode. Okay, and before we get to colors, there is one more thing. There's transparency effects here. If you don't want it to be transparent and want a more solid color, just click it off. As you can see, it got more solid, but I like the transparency effects, so I keep it on. Okay, but now let's start picking the colors. But again, before we actually pick a color, let's go to the bottom here. And these two options down here will decide what your colors will affect. So if you have them both off, as you can see up here, your colors will only affect a few things like the outline, the text, and a few other things. But if you click this, it'll, they'll start to affect the start, taskbar, and action center. And if you click this, they'll start to affect the title bars and window borders. So I'm going to keep these on to show you what they do. But let's go up here. And the first option we have is to automatically pick an ascent color from my background. So if we check this off, it's going to change everything to a color that matches my background. And my background is the basic Windows light blue background. So it's going to pick everything to be light blue to match that. So that's an option you can do if you just want everything to match. But if you don't and you want to actually pick a color, uncheck that. And your five most recent colors will be right here. As you can see, the light blue one appeared there too. And if you click on any of these, it'll automatically change to that. As you can see, everything went pink. Same with the taskbar and start screen. And there's also all the window colors right here. You can choose any of these that you want. Or you can create a custom color right here. So let's click on custom color. And now you can get really detailed with the colors by moving this circle around to get to any color or any shade that you want anywhere. You can change how light and dark it is here. And you can even see the previews form right here. And there's even more options and more here. You have RGB over here and HSV here. And there are values over here. And I'm not going to lie, I don't really know how to do with these, so I'm not going to worry about them. But if you want to play around with them, there you go. But the big thing is, if you have the ID for a specific color, you can put it in right here. And if you move the circle around, as you can see that ID changes. Every single shade color has an ID in Windows. So if you know a specific color and its ID, you can type it in here and it will change that color. Or you can find the ID by just moving it around here and finding a color you like and getting its ID. So that's a very helpful tool and thing to know. Let's just keep it to something like purple right now, and we'll do done. Now you can see it added that to our recent colors, and it changed everything to purple. And then just one more thing to go over down here. If you unclick title bars and window borders, as you can see that window border is not purple anymore, but the start screen and taskbar still are. Or you can switch it around and put that on and take start taskbar and action center off. Now as you can see, the start menu and the taskbar are not purple anymore, but the window border is. So you can play around with these or just keep them both selected, whatever you want to do. Again, this is all just personalization, so. But that about does it for today. That is three ways to change your lock screen and also how to change your colors in Windows. I hope you guys get a lot more personalization out of your computer now so you can spruce it up a little bit. But thank you all for watching. As always, if you like the video, please hit that like button and subscribe for more videos in the future. It also helps the channel out a lot. NerdServe, signing off.